Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Charlie Johnson. I have the privilege of directing the choir here at Edgewater. And uh, it's, it's also a privilege to welcome all of you here for the cantata this afternoon. I didn't expect to see Pastor Dan here, but it's nice to see him and Shaney here with us. And, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and welcome to Edgewater Church. We have a very friendly family here. If you haven't been to Edgewater before, uh, if you're coming through the doors on our services, you're going to get a lot of hugs, and uh, you're always welcome. God's love is in this church. He has blessed us from the time we moved into this building. A few things I would like to talk about because I had uh, some changes in the program. Basically, uh, due to some Tuesday night, one of our members uh, was called right while she was here, and we were finishing our practice up. And her daughter was in very serious condition in a hospital down, down at Miami, so she went there. That's Patrice Donaldson that's on your program. Uh, she is in Miami. We would ask that uh, as you go about your daily lives, maybe you would lift her up in prayers, that, that uh, things would go well for her daughter. Her daughter uh, will be going to hospice this coming week. So it it's, does not look good for her daughter, Patty. So keep both Patty and Patrice, if you would in your prayers. Also, uh, on Thursday, Janet Fiant, who was listed there as one of the readers, Aunt, as Anna, she got a call and they said her father was very, very ill. He had been ill for a time, but he took a turn for the worse, and it was a matter, could be just a matter of days. So, she is one of our tutors in our uh, tutoring program. We tutor second graders over at Liberty. As soon as she finished up tutoring, they went home and they packed and they were going to be driving all night Thursday night to get up into Michigan, hopefully to see her dad before anything seriously happened to him. So we would also ask you to keep Janet Fiant and her husband, uh, Eric, in your prayers during this week. Uh, and then I want to mention that Carol Bridgewater stepped up on Friday and filled the void and came in and practiced with us on a special practice Saturday, yesterday morning and she is doing a great job of reading for us and she and the other reader, Phil Kohler, at the back. We also want to give uh, attention and, and appreciation to our audio-visual people, Tom and, and Bob, and all the work that went on this week to get us to the point where we had a complete system in here where we could perform. I'm going to ask for one other thing, and that is to please hold your applause until the end of our program, if there is applause. If you wish to applaud at that time, that would be fine. But I, uh, we have a program that involves music plus reading, and we'll be moving right along with it. And uh, we would appreciate if we didn't break the, uh, I guess, the picture we're trying to present to you at that time. We don't want to break that feeling that we all have. And also one other thing on the programs, uh, I take responsibility for somehow or other. Uh, when I proofread the program, one of our sopranos was not down there and she is singing and practiced very hard and that's Ethel Kretschmann right here behind me. So I wanna make sure that she, uh, she gets credit for all the work that she has done also. At the end of the program, we. You know, this is a Methodist church. I mean, we always pass a basket in the Methodist church, but we're not passing a basket today. If you have liked what you have seen and you wish to make a donation, there'll be baskets on that center table on your way out. You can make a donation. It'll be used in the ministries of our church. And uh, that will be, again, up to you. We're not, there's no charge for this. This is our gift to the community. And because we work hard, to put it on for our own church on our first service at our traditional service. Uh, we have offered for the last three years to put this on for the community to come into if they wish or some of the people from the contemporary services at our own church here. And uh, I think that pretty much covers all the announcements I wanted to make. So enjoy, we have a story to tell you and the readers will start off telling you all about it.
tell you a story, a story that you may believe you already know well. We ask you to listen as though you've never heard it. Imagine that you are waiting, just as we were waiting, just as we had been waiting for generations. We waited for the fulfillment of a promise God had made, a promise of salvation and deliverance. It felt like we were living just watching for signs that the promise was coming to pass. Just when it seemed as though God had forgotten, the Almighty's timetable was completed. He reached down into our world and set events in motion that would change everything. seen the Christ. Knowing this, I woke every morning wondering if today would be the day. If my heart beat faster thinking about it, can you imagine how excited a young couple named Mary and Joseph felt? I only know that when I first saw the baby Mary had given birth to, my heart knew that I was looking at our deliverance. Today I 
it behold at last he's come the Lord has been He sends redemption in the fullness of time. The Lord has been good. The Lord has been kind. My prayers have all. Joseph's story had taken quite a few miraculous terms. It included an angel's announcement, an incredible dream, a dangerous journey, a surprising birthplace, and some unusual first visitors. I wasn't much for watching the heavens, but those who did couldn't miss the new stars shining so brightly. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Perhaps every woman identifies with Mary, or at least wonders exactly what it was like for her. What went through her mind as she cradled Jesus in her arms for the first time? Did she think about what the angel had said of him? Did she have any idea of who he truly was? Or as she examined his tiny face, did she only see her precious child? prophet Isaiah wrote, The people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. That light had already been seen in distant lands. Wealthy men of learning were already on their way to worship him. And it was just the beginning of the difference Jesus would make. He wasn't just a baby. He was more than a king. He was hope we could touch and see and hold.
birth that had taken place earlier, but when I awoke that morning, the Spirit led me to the temple courts. The moment I laid eyes on him, I knew why. As I took Jesus in my arms, I was filled with praise to God that I had seen his salvation at last. Mary and Joseph seemed amazed at what I was saying, and my heart was filled with compassion for them. How would this poor carpenter care for the Messiah? Did this humble girl have any idea of both the joy and the sorrow that awaited her in the life of this child?
you've ever had is completely fulfilled. How do you respond when your prayers are suddenly answered? I began talking about him to everyone who had been waiting for God to rescue us. And I couldn't stop praising God for all he had done for me. It wasn't because I was worthy of such a blessing. It was simply a gift of God's grace. The same gift is waiting for you today, no matter who you are. If you need hope, hope is here. The waiting is over. that we've heard this wonderful story of hope once again let's go into the world and share the good news of Jesus with all those we meet
something as the choir files out and we hope that uh, God will this feeling that we have of God's love and the birth of his son and the love that he has for every one of us will be with you and your families throughout this season and it shouldn't be only at this time of the year you know we need to show Christian love all the time for everybody every day of the week 24 hours a day because he has given that much love to us. May God bless each of you, be with you and your families, and may you have a wonderful Christmas season. And we say, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>